Hello everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy 13 2. Uh, I wanted to go back and do something, but I realized I should probably go through this first, because we're going to get the ability to throw the Moogle to get objects that are out of reach from the Sunlit Waterscape, and I want to quickly do that. But um, I'm not going to be fully playing through this chapter here in the Sunlit Waterscape, I'm just going to get the ability to throw the Moogle, then we're going to leave and go back to uh, Lake Brescia, go through another gate and take another route, because I've been doing some thinking and I want to go about this a different way. That's the good thing about this game, it's not all just one straight path to the end. We could go through the Sunlit Waterscape and the subsequent areas in this part of the chapter, or we could go back to Brescia and uh, jump through the gate and head to another place and go through a completely different story route, which is what we're going to be doing, so you'll see what I mean here soon. There are so many little flan. Where are they all going to? We follow them straight to the artifact. Well, maybe. It could happen. It may be drawn by the space-time disturbance. Let's find out. Alright, so we could follow them to the artifacts we need to go through the gates in this area. But, like I said, I'm not going to be doing that. We want to go to about this area right here. and We're going to get the ability to throw the Moogle in there. So it's not that much of a run. So let's get there quickly. Get this ability to throw the Moogle. What's got your attention? It must be that vine. Guess he's telling us we can use it to get across. Got it. If we get... <laughs> yeah, we can use vines to swing around like that. Pretty useful. Hey, no. How old are you? 18. Younger than me. <sighs> I guess so. <clears throat> hmm, he's 18. I didn't know that. <gasps> oh. While we're here... Chocolina's right here, so let's just quickly run over to her shop. We can buy us some new weapons and stuff. I can't stand to even think about Flan. They're slimy and gooey and sticky and goopy. So gross. Hey there, I'll sell you some great stuff, so in return, I think you should take care of the giant Flan. You know what I mean by take care, right? I assume you mean kill it, and uh, we can't really do that. We're way too weak. <laughs> Alright, so there's our two DLC bows that I got. We've got them now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy Noel a new weapon. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! And don't forget to take care of the plan! You promise! Yeah, I'll we'll get to it eventually, one day. Uh, so, Noel's got a new weapon we're going to equip. The Volatile Spark. Sarah, we could choose between the Genji bow or the the Azrael. Um, the Azrael, they're both kind of not too strong, but Azrael has the chain bonus level 1, which is pretty damn useful, because that'll really affect Sarah when she's like a Ravager, getting the enemy's chain bars up. Or we could do the Genji Bow, that increases her ATB rate by 25%, so she'll be faster in battle. I'm going to go with the Genji Bow, because I'm all about speed and shit, I like that. That's just the kind of guy I am. Kind of sounded wrong. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> we gotta go get the ability to throw the Moogle. These plan aren't stopping anytime soon, huh? Which we will get right here after this scene. End of the road. We have to turn back. <sighs> Holy shit! Come on. No way we can take that. <laughs> hey! Snowball! Snowball! Over here! Don't, don't encourage it! Hey, big guy, we need to get through this valley. Mind giving us a ride? Um... I don't think it hurt you. No answer. Guess I'll take that as a yes. It'll swallow you whole! <laughs> well, let's find what out! Snow? <laughs> oh, snow. <laughs> ah, bouncy! Is it angry? He actually likes it. Hey, he just had an itch that needed scratching. Come aboard, help me out. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, there's treasure chests down there floating around. How in the hell are we supposed to get those? Hmm. Can you check that out? Over there. 
No, it's too far for me, Kupo. Okay, I'll throw you closer. Good idea. We can broaden our search radius. Sarah, please! Save Mom, Kupo! Good luck! <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Moogle throw tutorial. I don't need a tutorial. Throwing Moogles, how hard can it be? So we can throw the Moogle to obtain treasure chests like that. And I believe, yep, look at that. That's either a fragment or an artifact over there. Let's get it. Maybe he's looking forward to the free lunch. No worries. If he does attack, we'll think of something. How will even survive this A wild artifact, cool. Use that to open up a blue gate. <laughs> Pretty sure he doesn't like this very much. Can't blame him, really. Oh, and we're at the end of the line. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this area now. We've got the ability to throw the Moogle. We'll come back here later up and finish up the story there. Because, uh, I just really, I'm more interested in seeing this other route we can go through, because we get to meet a certain character from Final Fantasy 13 there that I like better than Snow. You might be able to guess who that is if you've seen the previews for this game, but uh, I'm really interested in seeing what this character has to say and what role they play in the story, because I couldn't really understand the Japanese version nearly enough to uh, figure that out myself. Plus, I only played through half of the game, so... I didn't really get to see much of this character because I didn't really go all the way down this route. Uh, right. Where the hell are we? So we want to go to... That gate right there, I'm thinking. But... But... We can throw the Moogle now, so I might want to consider doing a little something just to show you how to do it and show you that so that I don't have to show it on camera anymore from this point onward. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Alright. I'm probably confusing you right now. I'm not really... <laughs> I'm trying not to spoil anything. I have knowledge of stuff that's coming up. I know what I'm doing here fully. I'm trying to make it entertaining at least and trying not to spoil everything before I do it. So this is the gate we'll be using in a minute. I'm gonna quickly hop on a chocobo so we can move faster and ride back this way. And I wanna jump over here like this into here. Then we've got a treasure chest waiting for us right here. And there's a hidden treasure chest right over here. I've got the guide, by the way. This is how I know where all this is. I've been studying the guide. Collector's Edition Guide, actually. It's hardcover. It looks really nice. It's awesome. I'd recommend buying it if you're a guide kind of person. Oh, yeah, I didn't even say. That item we just got, I think that'll let us rewind time back in New Bodum. And I'll show you what rewind time means when we get back to the Historia Crux. But first things first, we can do a little more exploring in this area now that we can throw the Moogle. See that treasure chest right there we couldn't get before? Well, now we can get it. And that is going to give us... What is it? A holding cell key. And people who remember the... Uh, I think it was two videos ago, people who remember what happened in that might have an idea of where to use that. Although I didn't really show it on camera. I wish I had. So let's go run over back to the holding cell so we can use this thing. In case it's not obvious already, this game emphasizes exploration to a huge degree. There's hidden objects all over the place. You can always come back to areas and explore more parts of it you couldn't do before. Personal notes that'll be used in a side quest, I believe, that I can do eventually. Alright, so here's this gate. We can use our holding cell key to unlock the door and proceed through. Ten vitality chips, cool. Alright, so let's go up here into this uncharted territory. 
and I believe we're going to find our very first blue gate here that can take us to an optional area that I want to go to. Uh, just to show you how it's done, I don't want to actually explore it yet, but you'll get the general gist of how exploration in the Historia Crux works after I show you this. Oh fuck, monsters. Where are they? Alright, let's take him out. I'm just gonna generally try and avoid battles for this video. Ah, this is an easy battle anyway. Victory is ours. I like throwing the Moogle over the chest I don't feel like running to, because running over the chest increases your chances of getting into a random battle. An army comm device, I assume that's another thing we'll need for a quest. So yeah, this is a blue gate. Uh, it's blue, obviously, as the name would imply. It's completely optional, and as you can see, it takes a wild artifact to open it. Well, we've got two wild artifacts, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And it works just like any other gate after that, except it takes you not to a story-related area, but to an optional side area that's completely unnecessary. You can go through the entire game without opening most of these gates. I think you have to open up at least one or two. But So we could go here now, to Brescia Ruins 300 the years after the fall. AF. The Brescia Ruins suddenly... Now, I'm not going to go there yet. I'll save that for another video. I'm going to probably make videos showing Time off all the optional memory. areas and Frozen stuff. In... But let's go back to the Brescia Ruins now, so we can go back through that other gate and head on to the next story area. So as you can see, people who uh, had complaints about Final Fantasy XIII being just pretty much a giant hallway to the end of the game, this game is not really a giant hallway to the end of the game at all. You get to really shape your own adventure here, for the most part. You can choose which routes to go through the story. You can choose to spend all your time in optional areas, hunting down fragments, doing side quests. You can choose the order of events you complete certain story events in. There's a whole lot of variety to this game. No playthrough will feel like the last, which is something that I like. Not to mention there's more variety in customizing your characters. You could have Sarah be an attacker, Noel be a mage purely if you wanted. I'm just doing the more basic. This is pretty much how you're supposed to go. Noel an attacker, Sarah a mage, so on and so forth. I'm not really doing anything unique with this playthrough in regards to that, but... But I could if I wanted. I just, I want to go the optimal route, because it's no harder. Effort, right? <laughs> it's harder if you go with Sarah as the attacker and Noel as the mage, because Sarah's not really that strong at attacking. She's a much better mage. Much better mage, and vice versa. Noel, he's decent at magic, but he still has so much more potential as an attacker. Speaking of Sarah, I want to run around with her for a bit, because she's got this new outfit and I want to be looking at that for a while while I'm running around. I, I still, I really like this outfit better than her default. I don't, I don't know, that's just me. A lot of people say it's too pink, it's too fruity, but uh, I think it looks cool. I like it. Everyone's so calm. Well, why wouldn't they be? Atlas is gone. It's not raining. There's <laughs> Nothing really wrong going on here. Why wouldn't they be calm? Oh, I didn't move. I, I, I could talk to uh, the NPCs, let you get all those dialogue options and shit. I guess it draws you into the world more, but I don't really care enough to do that right now. I just want to rush to the next area. Time amount. 15 minutes? I'm not sure if I'll be able to get through the next area. The rest of this video, I'm gonna have to split it up. In fact, maybe I should just make this video optional shit. I don't know. Nah, we'll go to the next area. 
I'll save the optional videos for later on. There's a certain point in the game coming up yes. fairly soon. Yes, it worked. Hopeful. She's seeing something again. Sarah, you okay? Hopeful. It's nothing. I'm fine, really. Just tired, I guess. Hmm. Right. Somehow I kind of doubt it's nothing. You know, no offense to Sarah, but I would be telling the time traveler that you're seeing visions of shit. I mean, that's not natural, that's not normal. He's clearly not seeing visions, it's clearly something Human only you're experiencing. To develop. <laughs> I guess the video there gave away who it is we'll be meeting. Powered by human technology. Driving the progress is the Academy, which has grown to take a leading role in affairs of state. Under its young leader, the Academy is working to solve the paradoxes that warp the surrounding space-time. At the heart of the distortions is the Yasha's Massif, its skies darkened by a perpetual eclipse. Yasha's Massif. That's how you say it. I always call it the Yasha's Massif. Whatever. Yasha's Massif. Whatever the hell it was. Let's go there. <clears throat> I like those little uh, narration things. That play when you're selecting areas. I think they're cool. So this is an area on Pulse that you could visit in Final Fantasy 13 near the end of the game. Let's see how much it's changed. People always say the future will be better. They believe the hardships of the present fade with the passage of time. And so, we hope, waiting for a future brighter than today. But Sarah, remember this. As you walk towards a brighter tomorrow, you have to look back to your past. The path you have walked to reach the here and now will give you the courage you need to hope. <sighs> In ancient times, the foul sea devoured the light, darkness cloaked the sky, and the earth knew only night. This must be the eclipse. You know what this is? They said 500 years ago, a massive foul sea appeared. For a while, it blotted out the sun and turned everything dark. If that happened 500 years in your past, then this must be 200 years in my future. Right. Something's wrong. Look, the eclipse is only affecting this small area. That shouldn't be possible. Okay, so you're saying this could be a paradox? That's what I'm saying. Huh. <laughs> Sorry if you heard background noise during that. My dad came in and told me to open some windows because it's scorching hot all throughout the house. This in fact, I'll probably edit out. We heard that there used to be a great city on Grand Pulse. I bet this is what these ruins are. What happened to it? No one's been able to figure that out. We were more or less locked up inside Cocoon. We never had much opportunity to learn about the world below us. Our scientists have only just begun to study the mysteries of Grand Pulse. So they're still really learning about this world they live in now. I kind of like that. I really like the uh, world of this game drawing me in so much more than 13 ever did. I don't know, it just feels so much more interactive and... Yeah. I was saying before they started talking was that my dad came in and told me to open some windows because it's so damn hot in this house. So, uh, I'll probably edit out. There was a lot of noise that I was making. I said a couple things, so there was so much noise in the background because he was opening windows. I'll probably just edit that out. I didn't really say much worth listening to anyway. Let's talk to this guy and see what's up. Hello. Are you here to observe the facility? I can answer any questions you might have. Ah, yeah, perfect. I do have some questions. Where are we? And what year is it? Wait, you can't just... <laughs> what? I'm just... Mm. Yasha's <laughs> Massif. 10 AF, sir. 10 AF? Cool. So nowhere near 200 years. 
I must say, this is the first time anyone asked me what year it was. I don't suppose you happen to be time travelers? Well, Koopa? Uh... <laughs> ah, yes, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to hand out this map. Take it, it's free. Well, let's look at the map then, shall we? Decent sized area. Decent sized. Keep your wits about you. There's no telling what kind of monsters the paradox has let loose in here. You said the paradox. Are you talking about the eclipse? Yes. The great Falci, Fenrir, blocked out the sun. It was predicted he would appear 200 years from now. Which means? Which means his appearance now indicates some sort of time distortion, right? Eclipse the result of Fenrir's premature appearance. What could be happening in the ruins? Appearance of time gates, of the Falci invasion, a miscalculation, the Falci wanted to meet you. Um Pretty sure the correct answer here is the appearance of time gates. But I'm pretty sure the funny answer here is the Falci wanted to meet you. <laughs> so we're gonna go for that. I like the funny answers better. The Falci arrived two hundred years early to meet with a certain someone. Yes, sir, that someone is you. Hmm. So this entity crossed the boundaries of time and space just to meet <laughs> with me? I suppose I can't discount the possibility. Yeah, uh, please discount it and find a sense of humor. And find a sense of humor. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> See, I like that. It's, that's the one thing, that's the one thing that 13 was lacking. The entire game was just hyper serious melodrama. This game, there's a lot of humor to it. There's a lot of, you can pick those funny options. You don't have to be serious all the time. But it can also be very serious too if you want it to be. There's plenty of serious options and plenty of serious conversations. You really get to determine the mood of the game yourself. Searchlights, the behemoths. Uh oh, we don't want to encounter any of them. If you encounter one, run into the nearest patch of light to return the mod clock to its safe state. All right, so we want to follow the searchlights. So I'll quickly get into this one. What? I thought you said monsters wouldn't appear if we were in this. Alright. I don't want to run to that chest, so we're going to throw the Moogle to get it. Alright, get into the searchlight. That's my mom. Shit, shit. Alright. Chocolina, the let's talk to her. Are so passionate about their work. They're working just as hard as ever, even in the dark. Speaking of passionate, I'm the most passionate person I know when it comes to making a living. And on that note, please peruse my passionately promising pick of pieces. Uh, does she have anything new to sell? Oh, we should. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, we should buy a couple wound potions. Is there anything else we want? I don't think we have any new weapons in here yet. New accessories? There's actually a fair bit of accessories in here. Nothing we can really afford or that I really want though, I'm just gonna... I know it's a little dark in here, but I paid my electric bill, I swear! Paid your electric bill? You paid your electric bill? Really? 
Tokalina is like the queen of bad puns in this game, I swear. <laughs> that building over there is part of the Padra ruins. You should take a look around if you have the time. Well, we should go take a look over there, I say. What's this? The scars, KT. Oh, that's right, I forgot to show you Ooh, time so reverse. I'll do that in the next video. It's strange because More or less, you can just replay an area from the beginning, story and all, and uh, you can redo live triggers to get better results, you can do paradox endings later on after you've beaten the game. I'll be showing you all that plenty later on though, don't worry about it for now. I'm not sure if it's better to use like those second tier spells, or if it's just better to chain these together and use second tier spells like that. The enemies are grouped together so you can hit multiple enemies like this. I really don't know what the general rules are with magic in these games. I haven't studied it enough to know the optimal combinations all the time. I mean, I know that it's rare in the... the you don't always want to use higher level magic in this one. It might be better to use the lower level magic more often, in fact. Spells like Fire Aga and stuff, they're only really worth it if uh, three or more enemies are all grouped right together. From my experience, at least. Night time all the time, the I can't deal with this. You clean, shouldn't live in Alaska, then. It'll be nighttime for a very long time in Alaska. Because of the powerful paradox effect. We don't know much yet, but we do know it's dangerous. Hmm. Well, I'm noticing there's pretty much just one path through this area right now. We're not really having any choice as to where we go. But I'm assuming the barriers will be removed later on and we can go exploring all around. Anyway, we're close to our destination now. And we've gone to another battle. Enemies appeared right on top of us. <laughs> Couldn't do a thing about it. What we really need, we really need to get one of our characters to have the healer role because our fucking monster healer sucks. Oh man, look at that, he just died on us. Alright, Whiskers, you better heal Sarah. Wow. Can you believe this shit? This monster sucks. our characters and monsters a little bit because I'm pretty sure we got a boss coming up. And Gale Strike, cool. And 
Crystarium's expanded. Medic. Well, there we go. We've got a character that can actually heal us now. Synergist. Commando. Crystarium will expand. And what can we get you, Noel? You can get the medic as well. In fact, I think he's a better medic because he gets a area of effect healing spell. Like, he can heal all members of the party at once, while Sarah can only heal one member at a time. But... But we're gonna go for the increased ATB gauge for him for now. Because I want. He's our uh, synergist, and I want to be able to use two things on us at once. He can launch enemies now, cool. Um, I hardly even want to waste any shit on this cat. fairly strong attacker now. Although now that I look at it, this monster would have been a much better choice as an attacker. Fuck. He's got a lot more HP. Stats increase a lot more. Fuck. Actually, he's already stronger than the other one, so I can t I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Uh, monsters, you will infuse. Fuck, we can't infuse that other one onto him. I wanted to infuse this onto him so he'd get all his abilities and shit, but... Well... Oh well. Let's just go ahead and put this thing in that place. Gendiox. Gan... Gandiox? That's a weird name. We'll keep it. Alright, let's go to the boss. And Oh, wait, wait, wait. up get Sarah as the healer here and she can be our healer here so that we don't have to rely on that shitty thing anymore. Yep, that looks good to me. to go inside uh -huh. I'm very sorry only persons on official Academy business are permitted beyond this point oh, oh shit <laughs> Noel's quick to jump into action all right let's go ahead and get Noel out here to give us some buffs we're gonna need him I have a feeling I love this song. I can do this. I feel like, like I've said before, I think, I feel like it's written straight out of Persona. I love Persona music, so... myself a lot more than I do AI for those jobs. Oh hell, it's got like a shield now. Alright, 
Alright, so is this thing like immune? It's immune to deprotect, to deshell, and to poison, so Sarah might as well just start casting wounds, yeah. Oh, that hurt. But we're just trying to break it now. Or stagger it. The Japanese turn. Get a bit of Go back to Saboteur and start wounding it more this time. Strong attack though. Quick heal, heal. Oh fuck. We're out of Phoenix Downs. So that is very bad. Heal, heal. We can't afford to lose anyone else. Or else we're gone. I didn't realize we had such a low amount of Phoenix Downs. Very tough now because it's just Sarah and Noah. We don't have our monster with us. We can do it though. I believe in us. I believe in us. God, I got those wound potions, or we'd be fucked. Shit, I'm having to heal so much. Alright, go. We have to get this thing staggered, or else we're gone. We lose. Game over. Simple as that. Five stars on this one. Come on, it's so close to stagger, and we can get this. We can still win this. Why you should really check the stores and stock up on Phoenix Downs instead of before you go into battle. You thank God I got Sarah the healer role, or else we'd be gone. Might be gone now, I don't know. Nasty attack.
I can just keep us healed. Noel might be able to finish off herself. Oh, come on, it's so close. We got it, we got it. We did it, somehow we did it. Two stars too, somehow we didn't completely fuck that up. But we're in trouble. <laughs> that was not good. I need to do some level now. Oh shit. Yeah, what's this? Well, I know who that like is. When these are cornered, they cause a space-time vortex to appear. An electromagnetic shock usually shuts them down. It's been a while, Sarah. Oh, 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 oh. Is... is that you? I'm grateful you remember me. Who's this? Oh, uh... Director of Academy Research, Team Alpha. Hope best I'm at your service. And you... you must be Noel. Nice guess. Who told you? You appeared here with Sarah some years ago, at the Brescia Ruins. Subsequently, we analyzed the gate and forecast your reappearance at this location. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really believe that time travel was possible. But, here you are. I'm really glad you're safe. For me, it's as if time has stopped. Everyone I knew is gone. From your point of view, <laughs> it's been years since you last saw Sarah. Not just Sarah. Snow as well. And Saz and his boy. You all disappeared from my life. It's been ten years now. Uh, I never thought... When the paradox occurred some years ago, I thought if I could solve it, maybe you would all come back. <laughs> Director Hope, there you are! What were you thinking? Taking off and leaving me all on my own. Hey, it's Alyssa. And it's Hope from it Final was a Fantasy shock 13. Seeing Hope grown older than me, but he was still the same Hope I knew. Lightning, Hope listened to my story without saying a word. I told him about how I'm the only one who remembers your smile on the plane of Grand Pulse. I told him about how Snow set out to try and save you and Vanille and Fang. And I told him about Noel. Noel from the future. There's something I want to show you both. We can continue our conversation as we walk. <laughs> I'll show the way. Shall we? <laughs> well, he's definitely grown. His voice sounds deeper. What made you Tall. join the academy? A sense of duty. Vanille, Fang, Lightning. They turned to crystal so that we might live. It was an enormous sacrifice. My sister and the others. I think they wanted to preserve life. They gave us a chance to live again. How long has it been? Five years? You two haven't changed at all. I hope not. <laughs> and here we are, meeting in ruins again. Ruins are places where memories gather like dust. So many layers of time. Probably the easiest place for a paradox to occur. Hmm. Interesting. They put the future in our hands. We're in a position to build a society based on human technology. No longer subject to the whim of the foul sea. That's the gift we've been given. Sarah, you've just stepped into the near future. You must be curious about a few things. Hope wonders if I have any questions about this world. Now seven years in the future. Any progress on Paradox Research? Is the Academy grown? Why is Alyssa here with you? Why are you so grown up? Well, that's the idiot answer. <laughs> I'm gonna pick that. Hope, why are you all so grown up now? 
You can't seriously still need an explanation for that, can you? Well, Sean, <laughs> you've traveled seven years into the future, and though it's been a relatively short period for you, I've continued to age at the normal rate. Does that explain things for you? Oh, I know that. What I meant to ask was, why do you seem so mature for your age? I'm no scientist, but even I understand that seven years have passed. <laughs> wow, did you really think I was that dense? N no, of course not. Please, you must believe I would never think that of you. <laughs> nice save, Director. <laughs> Sarah can seem like a bit of a ditz sometimes. No offense to her. Can't really blame Hope. Guests of yours, Director? Watch your step in there. Thank you. Isn't the Academy Time a research Ionic. institute? Why do you need so many soldiers? Without the Falci around, we have to be able to protect ourselves. And that means guns. The time distortions spawn hostile creatures. Until we can resolve the paradox, we need military force to repel threats. These armed patrols are essential for our safety. It's hard to believe it's really been ten years. So much time has passed. After meeting with me again, Hope seems lost in memories. What should I talk about? Hope, do you still think my sister is trapped inside that crystal pillar? I always had doubts, and it wasn't just me. Saz had them as well. Really? Saz too? Yes. He couldn't believe that lightning would just up and leave Sarah like that. After all, she was the one who said we shouldn't face things alone. That we should stick together. I'm glad to see you're doing well, Sarah. Talk about Saz. Where the hell is he? I wonder how Saz and little Dodge are doing. We've been out of touch. Saz took Dodge to live on Grand Pulse, and he was flying airships the last I heard. Then suddenly they both disappeared. I... I searched everywhere but never found them. Look at us. All gone our separate ways. <sighs> yes. And I can't tell you how much it means to have you here now. Saz and Snow may have set off on different paths, but I've started to think that, in the end, we're all headed towards the same goal. I'd like to think that. I wouldn't like to see the whole party from the 13 just dissipate afterwards. I wonder how the others are doing. <sighs> Me too. Let's talk about Snow. We saw him. So, Hope, have you heard anything from Snow? Nothing, I'm sorry to say. Not a single word. Not since he left on his mission. No sign of him for ten whole years? Sounds like we're not the only ones traveling through time. You might be right. Considering Snow's uncanny ability to find trouble, he's almost certainly aware of these temporal aberrations. <laughs> I hear something interesting for you. In my other file where I've been playing around a bit, I completed everything in the Sunlith Waterscape, and when I picked that option, they actually said that they encountered Snow there. And the dialogue there was different, so maybe if you play things differently, you can get different dialogue trees and shit when you pick these options. So that's something interesting for you people to remember when you're on your playthroughs. It's been ten years already. Oh, actually, if I pick that option, uh, if I pick that option, it's gonna continue. This video is getting a bit long as it is, so I'm just gonna quickly so hope. pick Nothing. that and skip past it. No, Sonny, you might be right, considering. I'm going to go ahead and save the game and call it a video right here. And when we come back, we'll continue on, see what Hope has to show us, and uh, maybe go through another gate to another area and see where that brings us.